Hello friends, in this video, I will discuss the calculation of aeration requirement of MBBR or moving bed biofilm reactor. This video is second part of calculation of MBBR. Here, we will find out the aeration requirement of 500 KLD or 0.5 MLD designing capacity of MBBR tank. But before going in detail, I would request to visit part 1 of MBBR. In the summary of part 1 of MBBR, the previous video was named as calculation of MBBR that was containing the schematic diagram of sewage treatment plant based on MBBR technology. Calculation of MBBR plant for 500 kiloliter per day or for 0.5 MLD capacity and advantage and disadvantage of opting MBBR was discussed in the previous video. Now, in continuation of previous video, this video is having calculation of aeration requirement for the same capacity as 500 KLD for MBBR plant. Here, first of all, we will discuss little bit about aeration. There are several type of aeration system used for wastewater treatment. The systems used depend on the function to be performed, type and geometry of the reactor, and also most important is cost to install and operate the system. Submerged aeration, surface aeration and cascade aeration are generally used in water and wastewater treatment plant. Calculation of designing surface aerator and cascade aerator will be part of our upcoming next videos. Henceforth, we will discuss only about submerged aeration which contain the fine and coarse bubble diffuser in the tank. But before going to much detail about submerged aeration, first question comes that what is the need of aeration? Answer is in MBBR tank, aeration is required for mixing the biofilm media to maintain the DO level and provide complete aerobic condition for survival of aerobic bacteria for BOD removal and for nitrification process and for maintaining the aesthetic condition and to avoid foul smell. The efficiency of oxygen transfer depend upon the many factors like type, size, shape of diffuser, the air flow rate and the depth of submergence tank geometry including the header and diffuser location and the wastewater, wastewater characteristic. Typically, standard oxygen transfer efficiency increases with the depth of MBBR tank and 4.5 meter is generally considered as most common depth for submergence for diffusers. Now, the fine and coarse bubble diffusers which are main part of the diffused aeration system contains 0 to 3 mm bubble size for fine bubble diffuser and 3 to 5 mm for medium pore diffuser and 5 to 50 mm for coarse bubble diffusers. There are so many arrangements are available for diffused aeration system in which L grid, conventional lifting grid, fixed grid and hanging grid arrangements are generally used as per the process and operation maintenance available. In the disc diffuser system, small discs are placed on the top of pipe and material of construction are used for these discs are mainly of EPDM that is ethylene propylene, diene monomer or simply say synthetic rubber and silicon. Disc diffusers are available as fine, bubble, fine and coarse bubble diffusers in fine bubble diffuser, the bubble size is taken as 1 to 2 mm and air flow rate or AFR is used as 2 to 6 meter cube per hour for top air discharge and 6 to 12 meter cube per hour for peripheral air discharge. And in coarse bubble diffuser, bubble size is taken as 4 to 5 mm and air flow rate or AFR is taken as 3 to 4 meter cube per hour for top air discharge and 6 to 8 meter cube per hour for peripheral air discharge. This is the disc diffuser system in MBBR tank. Here disc diffusers connected to the pipe and then header are provided. Next is zoom, zoomed view of one disc functioning and last one is zoomed image of single disc diffuser. This is the animated view of diffused aeration system. Thus disc diffuser typically used in MBBR are 1 inch diameter stainless steel pipe with 4 mm diameter orifices spaced 38 to 105 mm 
along the underside of diffuser pipe. Placing the orifices too close together will lead to uneven air flow distribution inside the pipe diffuser and placing the orifices too far apart lead to cost provision application. The air diffuser is generally anchored 0.30 meter or 1 foot above the tank bottom and spaced 0 0.30, 0 0.45, 0 0.60 and 0.90 meter or 1 in 1 feet, 1.5 feet, 2 feet, 3 feet apart. Now comes to the tubular diffuser. So air is introduced at the bottom of circular tube that can vary in height from 1.25 to 1 meter. Internally, the tube are fitted with alternately placed deflection plates to increase the contact of air with wastewater. And as said earlier, also that mixing is accomplished because the tube aerator act as an air lift pipe and these are normally install, installed in a grid type floor coverage pattern. These are also available with the same material of construction as EPDM that is ethylene propylene dyne monomer or simply says synthetic rubber as silicon. Tubular fine bubble diffuser has bubble size of 1 to 2 mm air flow rate of 4 to 6 meter cube per hour for 0 0.063 meter dia and for 0 0.6 meter land tube discharge and 8 to 10 meter cube per hour air flow rate for, for 0 0.063 meter dia and for 1 meter land tube discharge. This is the main tubular diffuser in MBBR tank here tube diffuser connected to the pipe and then header are provided. Zoomed view of one tube functioning is also shown here and last one is zoom image of tube which are used in complete assembly of air diffuser system. So far we have discussed about the aeration system in MBBR tank but what would be the air flow rate at inlet of diffusers. Therefore for finding the air flow rate we will now see how to find out the air flow rate in meter cube per day with the help of some design parameter. Thus, first of all, the inlet flow rate will depend on the quality of effluent and will depend on the BOD and nitrification. So, for BOD, the design parameter is 1.2 kg oxygen will require per unit k per kg of BOD applied and for nitrification, 4.6 kg oxygen will require per kg ammonical ion oxidized to nitrate. Now comes to the calculation part. Thus, oxygen requirement for BOD removal is 1.2 kg oxygen will need it for per kg BOD applied. In our designing of 500 KLD or 0.5 MLD MBBR plant, inlet BOD was 150 kg per day. That came from 300 ppm BOD multiplied by inlet flow rate that was 0.5 MLD that became 150 kg per day. Thus, if 1 kg BOD required 1.2 kg oxygen, then 150 kg BOD will require 150 kg multiplied by 1.2 kg oxygen that will be equal to 180 kg per day. Thus, we got the BOD applied will be 180 kg per day. We know that atmospheric air contains 23% oxygen that is 23 kg per 100 kg of air and approximately 77 percent nitrogen that is 77 kg nitrogen per 100 kg air and density of air is 1.201 kg per meter cube. Thus, the theoretical air required will be total oxygen requirement per unit or O2 content in air multiplied by density of air that will be 180 kg per day divided by 0 0.23 kg O2 multiplied by 1.201 kg per meter cube which will equal to 651.63 meter cube per day or we can also say this 652 meter cube per day. So this is our air requirement for BOD removal in our MBBR tank. As we have done aeration requirement calculation for BOD removal, 
Thus in similar way we can also do it for nitrification. Therefore I will tell here how to do it for nitrification. But first of all I would like to add a definition of nitrification for better understanding of given calculation. Thus nitrification is two step biological process in which ammonical nitrogen or NH4 is oxidized to nitrite nitrogen that is NO2 and nitrite is oxidized to nitrate that is NO3. Because of two step oxidation it require high amount of oxygen thus this process is also called as oxygen hungry process. Thus as said oxygen requirement for oxidation of ammonium ion, ion to nitrate is 4.6 kg oxygen per kg ammonical ion to nitrate in designing of any capacity plant applied ammonical nitrogen will be inlet ammonical nitrogen in ppm multiplied by total inlet flow rate that we can, uh, that we can uh, say in meter cube per day. Thus if 1 kg ammonical nitrogen will require 4.6 kg oxygen then oxygen required for total applied load will be the total applied load multiplied by 4.6 kg oxygen. So we can get the total ammonical nit nitrogen load in the uh, coming sewage. In the similar way as air contains 23 percent oxygen and approximately 77 percent nitrogen that is 77 kg nitrogen per 100 kg air. So density of air is 1.201 kg per meter cube thus the theoretical air required will be oxygen requirement per unit oxygen contained in air multiplied by density of air that will be oxygen required for applied load divided by 0 0.23 multiplied by 1.021. So finally we can get the R air required for complete nitrification process or for ammonical nitrogen to nitrate oxidation process. These are the references of this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. Please feel free for any doubt and further clarification in comment below. Thank you.